What's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FC24 tutorial on the channel. Today we're gonna go through all the speed boost variations in the game. Come on, let's do this. If you wanna get cheap and reliable coins, go check the best place on the market, fifacoin.com with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code Ovi for extra discount. Link is in the description. Starting with example number one, boys. And as I was saying, we are going to go through all the speed boost variations that are available in FC24. As always, you're more than welcome to leave a like if you're enjoying the content on the channel. We've got Griezmann here on the left side passing to Nkunku. And the first simple variation is while sprinting, if you move the right analog in the direction of your sprint or at an angle lower than 45 degrees, your player will kick the ball in front, will do a speed boost that will offer you an advantage, a leverage over the opponent. Going into example number one. Here, as you can see, we've triggered the controlled sprint. Controlled sprint uh, can be done by pressing and holding the uh, R1 button or your PlayStation controller or RB button or your Xbox controller. While we do that, we also hit the sprint button. While we hit the sprint button, you will see that the player will do a boost in his speed. Again, gaining leverage advantage on the opponent. There are so many variations this season. It is super, super, super interesting. Uh, the next example is exactly the same. We're doing a um, control sprint with Kylian Mbappé and then we use the sprint button to kick the ball a bit in front and get rid of that push from the defender. Very important because you don't want to do a shot while you're being pushed by the uh, defender. Uh, now for one speed boost that we had in FC, sorry, in FIFA 23, and we also have now in FC 24, it is the step over. In order to do a step over, you need to move the uh, right analog in front of the player, and afterwards, boys, you'll have to move it left and right. As easy as that. The um, the R9 move, let's call it like that, because he kind of made it famous, or that's from where I remember it. After you've done the stepovers, you will hit the sprint button, and your player will get that amazing speed boost that we are searching for. Next example right here is a new move in FC24. It is a combination of control sprint and a right analog movement. We'll do, we're doing the control sprint and we are moving the right analog as we're seeing in the example. The player will kick the ball in front and uh, get away from the defender with his unfortunate Nkunku misses that uh, chance. So many, as I was saying, variations available in this game. Next one, we've got Rabio passing to Kylian Mbappe, controlled sprint, and after the controlled sprint, we just launch with the sprint button, and it is impossible, impossible to catch Kylian Mbappe uh, once he's, uh, uh, he's done that. It's just crazy. And again, now on the right side, we've got a combination control sprint followed by uh, the normal sprint, and in this particular situation here, when you've got this angle, you can combine the control, sorry, the normal sprint with the boost from the right analog. Just flick the right analog in front of the player. Look at that. Boom. You're in front the defend of the defender and you've got a big, big, big advantage. Greasy there with a huge, huge miss. I should have just shot the button with more, shoot the button, shoot the ball with more, more power. Next, we're going to have Griezmann passing it to Kylian Mbappe. Speed boost by using the step over. That again gives us a big leverage on the opponent. The shot though, not that good uh, from me. Uh, Kylian Mbappe now, from the start, we're going to try and do it with more combinations of speed boost. First one, control sprint and uh, combined with a normal sprint. We get away there. Next. It is the step over and another sprint. We continue to get away. Then the third one is the right analog sprint and we continue to get away from the opponent. That, those are the 
three combinations of speed boosts that work the best or ones that work the best uh, from all the combinations in FC24. Uh, uh, Dembele now with the ball and this one right here in particular is very very important because it shows that only by using control sprint without any other combination you can still go through the defense and it is not necessarily a speed boost but this control sprint is something that it is extremely difficult to defend from the opponent. It's a type of move that uh, doesn't seem the fastest, but it is hard for the defender to react uh, at. Uh, Chouameni now passing the ball to Kylian Mbappé. And this right here, it is a heel to ball rule combined with the sprint button. Let's see exactly how this move is performed. It is good. But not one of my favorites. But I still wanted to include it and present it to you. Uh, in order to do a heel to ball roll, uh, you will have to press and hold N1, L1 on your PlayStation controller or LB on your Xbox. And you will uh, move the right analog exactly as you, as you are seeing in this example. In the front of the player, back of the player. And while the motion is set, you will press and keep pressed the sprint button. As you can see, uh, the exit after the heel to ball roll is by kicking the ball in front of your player, thus winning uh, a speed boost, creating a speed boost on the pitch. Uh, this one here is two years old, this variation right here with Kylian Mbappe. Press and hold L1 on your PlayStation or LB on Xbox, and afterwards, afterwards, Press the sprint button. Look how crazy good it is. Spectacular with Mbappe. Absolutely spectacular. So many options from where you can uh, choose this season. Probably the most versatile season so far in terms of speed uh, boost. We're going to take one more example right here with Kylian Mbappe. That does the same. He does the same. He presses. We press and hold. Uh, L1 or LB and afterwards launch the sprint button. Extremely difficult to stop, man. Because you don't know where he's gonna go. You just don't know. He's so fast while doing that. Look at that. Boom. With the left. Finishes. With is Puts it in the back. One more here. Antoine Griezmann on the left side. This one is special because Griezmann is a special player this season. And if you're playing Ultimate Team, you're thinking about a top-notch cam striker. Antoine Griezmann is the man for you. He's just crazy, crazy good. Again, we're controlling uh, the player with L1 and afterwards launching the sprint. Look at the boost. Gets in the box. Perfect finish. So many variations, guys. Uh, if I were to choose one, I would go control sprint and even better, I would say that it's the L1 and afterwards sprint combination because you never know where the opponent will go. This will be all for today's uh, tutorial, guys. If you got any questions, drop a comment below. My name is Oviendal. See you fellas in the next ones. Ciao, ciao.